Hi there, owls. Welcome back to Joe and Media, the channel where you can learn about software automation, technology in general, and marketing. Today, we have a very interesting video about Test Cafe. Today, we're gonna uh, try to, well, install and actually configure Test Cafe to run a single test in a Docker container. So, the main, uh, well, the goal of this video is uh, actually a uh, pool an image container from uh, Docker, all right? We're gonna get the, the test cafe image that the official documentation provides us. Then we're gonna try to run, uh, well, one of the tests uh, that we have uh, created in the video before, and uh, run and execute that to see if, uh, well, we can execute, uh, uh, well, uh, a, a script in a Docker container, all right? We're gonna try to follow all the instructions that the website uh, provides us and see what is gonna happen. I just want to let you know that this video is not gonna cover the main concepts of Docker. It is gonna be or have to be covered in a future video about uh, Docker itself. And we're gonna try to understand the basics of it how, uh, whatsoever. So, what is a container? What is a Docker container? A Docker container is a standard unit of software that packages app code and all its dependencies so the application runs quickly and rely rel reliably from one computing environment to another. A Docker container image is a lightweight, standalone, executable package of software that includes everything needed to run an application, code, runtime, system tools, system libraries and settings. So basically, um, a container images become containers at the runtime, and in the case of Docker containers, images become containers when they run on the Docker engine. So uh, it is going to be, uh, or actually, um, we're going to try to understand uh, this um, comparing a Docker or actually a container against a virtual virtual machine, right? So as you can see, uh, we have two descriptions over here that I hope that. Um, get you or actually try to clarify things in your mind right now. <laughs> uh, what is a container? Basi basically, a container is an abstraction at, at the app layer that packages code and dependencies together. Multiple containers um, can run on the same machine and share the OS kernel with other containers, each running as isolated process in a user space. And this is a very interesting um, feature and advantage, advantage that I think uh, about containers and it is basically that uh, containers take up less space than VMs and can handle more application and require fewer VMs and operating system. So, virtual machines, what, what is the main meaning of about that? And we have a graphic interp interpretation about this. Basically, a VMs or VMs are an abstraction of physical hardware, right? So, turning one server into many servers. The hypervisor uh, advisor allows multiple VMs to run on a single machine. However, each VM includes a full copy of an operating system. So the application, uh, the application necessary binaries and libraries take a lot of gigabytes uh, per instance and VMs can also be a slow to boot. So uh, it doesn't mean that containers are better than virtual machines or um, or, or virtual machines are better than containers. It is just uh, depending on the use that we have to, uh, well, or the use that we're gonna, uh, uh, well, actually, uh, or the approach that how about how we can use those uh, software and tools. So let's try to get um, actually, uh, or actually, let's start following the, um, well, the, the instructions that we have in the uh, Docker and actually the Test Cafe Docker image uh, official documentation. Um, the first thing that I want to do is, um, well, uh, clone the uh, the repository that we have in uh, in Bitbucket. It is totally free, and if you want to, um, well, actually download the, the the repository, you can go ahead and do it. And th the thing that I want to do is in Documents. All right, I'm gonna. Um, clone this project here all right so i'm gonna just paste this here and i'm gonna clone the, the project and i'm gonna be a uh, start um actually opening visual studio code because i want to um well do different things inside of it i'm gonna just uh, go inside of the uh, folder all right which is test cafe tutorial 
um, if if we take a look of that we're inside of the project right now and I'm gonna npm uh, install dependencies because I need them to execute my scripts in my local computer right <laughs> okay so I'm gonna open up the folder with a uh, visual studio code a test cafe tutorial and I'm I am going to open this folder right now and as you can see I have node modules in my computer and it is ready to execute uh, to be executed uh, so I'm going to the on the tests um, folder and I'm gonna look for the assertion folder um, this is a video that we have done and we have covered uh, before if you want to learn about test assertions with test cafe you just have to click on the pop-up a card that you will see in this video and uh, we'll get context about what is happening in this test but uh, I think that it is not important uh, what is happening right now in the test the, the idea of this is to run every single test in this picture and see if it is working as we want and uh, possibly I have a, a script in the package.json file um, well actually pointing to this um, assertion uh, script so I'm gonna just uh, run this, npm run, and specify the script that I want to execute. And as you can see, probably, uh, well, I'm gonna open up the web browser over there, and it is gonna start uh, making assertions depending on the uh, conditions that we have uh, set in that uh, picture, right? So it is gonna be working on that. And as you can see, the assertions probably will work all of them are gonna pass, or are gonna pass actually, and I hope that, and that's it. As you can see, all my assertions uh, are working fine as we as we expect, and um, well, the the next step that I think that we have to do is start start working with Docker. So let's let's see what the, the official documentation says about it. Uh huh. All right. Um. Cool. So. What we have to do right now in here is actually take a look of this. It says that TestCafe provides a pre-configured Docker image with Chromium and Firefox installed. That's it's something to be, uh, well actually, uh, we have to be aware of that. We only have Chromium and Firefox installed in the Docker image, uh, actually uh, the, the Docker image that they provide us. Uh, and therefore you can avoid manual installation of browsers and the testing framework on the server um, it says that to start using docker we need to install docker right and that's a video that i have made uh, in this in this channel and you can go ahead and click on the pop-up card too and have a clear guidance of how to install docker in windows in, in this particular case if you have linux or linux and or mac os well um it is practically the same i think <laughs> and if not i'm gonna try to uh, well actually uh, try to bring a new video soon with uh, using those operating systems so the next step that we have to do here is um well um validate that docker is installed correctly as you can see here um let's see what is happening here all right if you have installed docker correctly well in windows we're gonna have a docker uh, desktop application and also uh, in the terminal we can use a uh, docker commands so we can validate, validate the docker version over here we can validate if we have uh, images installed or actually downloaded in our computer and uh, if we have for example um, actually containers working or actually ex being executed in our computer right however they are not because it is totally clean so the next step that we have to do is follow this instruction over here that test cafe provide us which is a uh, pull uh, test cafe test cafe from the docker repository so as you can see here it is gonna start downloading the, um, the test cafe image all right And let's wait for a few seconds. <clears throat> and we're gonna try to uh, start working on. Um, well, um, we're gonna try to uh, run uh, the, the same test that we have executed locally, but in this particular case, in a container, right? In a Docker container. So we're gonna wait for a few seconds until this is. Um, 
until this is uh, installed and then we're gonna see how uh, well start working on, on that um, I'm gonna take advantage of this moment to uh, please and ask you for subscribe and let a like please let in the comments section below your feedback and I'll appreciate it because it is gonna be a lot of support uh, gonna, uh, um, a lot of motivation for me to well keep working on this kind of piece so as you can see here I have a uh, the uh, the status and it says that downloaded newer image of test cafe latest and that's good probably if i run the docker uh, images image command images yep you can see that we have a new image over here and it is ready to be executed or run so what is the next step that we have to follow basically uh, well, well, let's take a look of the um, the command that we have over here. It says that we have to use the docker run command to run test cafe in the docker container, right? We're gonna follow this structure to run my test in the in a container. It says that this com this command takes the following parameters. It says that uh, we're gonna maps the test folder directory on the host machine, right? And we're gonna save that on the test folder inside of the uh, container, right? And we can map any host directory, uh, any container directory. It doesn't matter about it. And um, it says also that the files referenced in test, page modules, utilities, Node.js modules should be located in the Muppet host directories or its subdirectories. Otherwise, they could be accessed from the container. So um, let's let's take a look of what it, what it uh, what it means about uh, or what means it test cafe test cafe. It says that it allows us to run test cafe in the interactive mode with the console enabled, and then we can pass test cafe arguments as always. For example, specify as uh, a particular uh, well um, web browser, and then specify the uh, path where all the tests are uh, located so let's start working on this i think that we can try to copy this command and see if i can run my tests on a uh, visual studio code i hope so i'm gonna clean up the, the console log i'm gonna try to actually uh, do something because currently i have my screen on 100% but probably it will be better if you can see this in this uh, screen size so I'm gonna try to run or actually turn again the Visual Studio code and I'm gonna try to run the command that I, I told you before and uh, let me see docker container I'm gonna copy this mm -hmm. and let's start working on this so basically we have to um, well do the following thing uh, if I'm not wrong it was something like that pwd which is gonna be uh, referencing the the well the main directory where we are and we're gonna specify the tests folder which is the the folder where we have all our tests right and we're gonna copy all of them in uh in the tests folder inside of the uh, well the the test container uh, actually the docker container and then we're gonna uh, pass the it uh, command to get uh, access to the interactive mode and the console lock. And then we're gonna pass the test cafe arguments. Over here we're gonna pass, uh, for example, Firefox, which is one of the uh, web browsers allowed uh, in Docker image provided by test cafe. And then we're gonna execute or actually pass the particular path of or of tests that we want to execute in this particular case i want to go inside of tests right then i'm going to look for um assertions mm -hmm. and then i'm, I'm gonna look for uh, the only js file that we have in that particular uh, folder right <laughs> and if i click on this i hope that it works <laughs> if it is something wrong i'm not sure what it is but if i'm not wrong it should be executing my assertion api fixture and as you can see it is actually running or executing my fixture in firefox 78.0 and in linux that's something good and all the assertions api are 
executed and passing as we expect so that's the main difference about um, well docker a container and the local uh, well machine right it is running on firefox linux in a docker container it's totally separated and we can well actually execute our tests based on a, or actually um using the resources of a container that's something very interesting to be aware of and this is a bas basic and main tutorial about how to install or actually uh, install yeah download an image and then execute our tests in a test cafe uh, with Docker. That's that's good, right? I hope that you find this video useful and um, If if you like this, please let me know in the comments below Please subscribe and let me know in the comment section if you like and all the feedback and Well all the comments that you may think I'll, I'll appreciate all of them even if they are bad. It is gonna be useful for um, actually improve uh, every single day thank you very much for watching the video and see you in the next one bye bye